dirty record killing the mood? Try Spin Clean. Simply load the basin with water in a capful solution. Turn the record three times one way and three times the other, dry, and within minutes your records will sound as good as new. Units starting at just $79.99. Get yours today at SpinClean.com. SpinClean, the best reviewed cleaning device in the industry and proudly made in the USA since 1975. Hey guys, we are celebrating the 30th anniversary of Star Wars Return of the Jedi by counting down the top 10 songs about Star Wars. Let's preface this list by stating that we have excluded any covers or parodies and picked songs based on their musical quality and not just the lyrical content. And let me tell you, it wasn't easy. There's just not that many original songs about Star Wars, but the songs we did pick, I think you're gonna like. So without further ado, Professor, will you engage the hyperdrive and kick off the countdown? Sure thing, geek. Starting things off at number 10 is Tattooing by Honest Bob and a Factory Dealer Incentives. A pile of sand, that's all you see. And in the distance, precisely. So the song chronicles the events of the original trilogy and features guitar solos to the tunes of the Imperial March and the main title theme. Speaking of the Imperial March, slowly approaching at number 9 is The Death Star by the presence of the United States of America. Massive killer orb hovering around looking for a spot to blast the good guys on the ground before they know what hit them. From the guys who brought you songs about kitties, peaches, and dune buggies, <laughs> it only makes sense to write this ode to the most powerful, destructive weapon in the Galactic Empire. Geek, I've got a question for you. Yeah, what's that? Do you believe in the power of the Force? Professor, you know I don't believe that there's all one powerful Force controlling everything. Well, maybe you should, because coming in at number eight is Can You Feel the Force by The Real Thing. Oh, I see what you did there. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, it's easy to forget that Star Wars came out at the height of the disco movement, so it's no surprise that many bands tried to capitalize on its success. You know you love disco. No, I don't. Yes, you love disco. Professor, you know your Jedi mind tricks don't work on me. Ah, dang. Well, they sure work for the Selfie Tigers with their song Droid, coming in at number seven. Now this is a fun tune. It came out in 2000, just three years before the Minnesota band broke up. Well, that's a shame. But you know, sometimes out of the ashes, great things arise, such as the case with this band, Shibuti. Precursor to Coheed and Cambria with their song Good Night at number six. What I love about this song, it brings me right back to my childhood playing with Star Wars toys. <laughs> You know, I don't think there's too many songs of this nature. I concur, but there sure are a lot of songs about Obi-Wan. Really? Oh, really. In fact, we actually have a tie for number five. First up, Obi-Wan by Thingy. Tell me, only one. And here's Oh No, Oh My with Obi-Wan. Yes, you are my only hope. It's amazing how similar these two songs are. Well hang on to Millennium Falcon Geek, because here comes another song about tattooing. You gotta be kidding me! <laughs> Flying in at number four is Jeremy Messersmith's tune about my favorite desert planet. Twin suns that me everything I know. I just love the paper craft look of the video. It really adds to the overall charm of the song. Well geek. Get ready to switch it in the third gear with Fett's Vet by MC Chris. Kuzumo says bye in my DeLorean. War is over on my peacetime and DeLorean. Historian stumps, Star Wars historians deep in debate, but they played at Ben again. 
If you're a fan of Aqua Teen Hunger Force, you'll be familiar with MC Chris. He has other songs about the bounty hunter droid IG-88 and of course, on Solo. Speaking of nerf herders, here comes their song Weezer slash Star Wars Theory at number two. The first one blew everybody away, a genre creating tour de force. In case you guys don't know this, there's a theory that states that the first three Weezer albums mirror the success and critical response of the first three Star Wars films. This song is a great summary of that theory in lyrical form. Well, Geek, that brings us to our number one song, A New Hope by Blink-182. You know, I must have listened to this track at least a half a dozen times before I realized it was about Star Wars. Yeah, and listen to that chorus. Super catchy. Did somebody say Princess Leia? Uh, no, Auntie, that was just the song. Well, I saw you boys dressing up, so I thought I'd join you. <laughs> well, you're a little too late, because we are all out of time. I'm your Vinyl Geek. And I'm Professor Watson. But I wanted to see your lightsabers. <clears throat> and we'll catch you on the flip side. May this force be with you. <sighs> well, can I have at least feel your force? <clears throat> Oh, uh, that's actually, I don't believe in the force, so that's uh, all Professor for yeah, you. Yeah, that's not scientifically proven. I don't understand the force myself. It doesn't quite make sense well, to me. Well, how about so. touching me Jedi? Flying in at number four, we have Jesse Messersmith's tune. Jeremy. Jeremy? Messersmith's. Okay. Flying in at number four, we have Jesse Messersmith's tune. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy, <laughs> goddammit. You're wrong. You're wrong. I, love you. I love you. I love you, Marshall. <laughs>